guys, welcome. I am glad that you came back for another episode. We're going to be making um, shrimp chini chow mein. Um, Susan is here with us. Hey. And um, she apparently can't cook and she was always want to learn from her boyfriend. So we yeah. can't cook, won't cook. But I will cook today. Can't cook, cook won't cook. Alright, so guys, I, I'm glad that you came and um, let's get started. Alright guys, uh, here with Susan and here. This is the fourth episode of Line with Links. I can't wait to start. We're going to be cooking shrimp chow mein. Um, don't mind the amazing amount of work going on behind us. We're uh, fairly busy today, so let's just go ahead and jump right into it. So, um, we're going to season the shrimp. Yeah. So first, put shrimp in the bowl. Right. This time I just mix the seasoning salt, the onion pepper and garlic pepper together. So we're going to season the shrimp. A little bit of that. All right. Uh, fresh garlic and uh, scotch bonnet. Okay. All right. We're gonna use only a little bit of it because we want to use some in the um, in the pot cooking it. Now, do you leave the seeds in? I leave the seeds in. Okay. Because it's supposed to be spicy. Right. Okay. If you take the seeds out, is it less spicy? Less spicy. Or less spicy less if you spicy. take the seeds out. You can use a spoon to mix it up. Yes. All right, guys. So what we have in here is just the shrimp, raw shrimp, um, scotch bonnet pepper, rounded up, um, garlic, fresh garlic, garlic onion, garlic um, uh, garlic salt, and uh, onion powder. And uh, the rest of the stuff here is just a little bit of seasoning salt. Nothing too too heavy. Not a very doesn't need to be super seasoned. So this is it. She went and completely rubbed it together. So then what I did here for you is I cut up the, some pre-cut up vegetables so that you can have an idea of how we want it to be cut up. Um, personally, this is how I like it. You can cut it up any way you want, it doesn't really matter. Yeah. But um, go ahead, you can, I have the fresh um, peppers here. Mm -hmm. So that's the knife. Uh, we have so far seasoned the shrimp and now we are cutting the vegetables, sli uh, slicing it. Do it. All right, yeah. perfect, perfect. Now she's got it. The only thing that's, that is here is different is the scotch bonnet pepper. Okay, so this I cut up previously, so this is a little bit different. Yeah. These are very, this is very spicy. I would never use all of this, but um... So this is a lot, isn't it? Oh my god, it's a whole pepper. Yeah. And we already seasoned the shrimp with pepper. Okay. So if you do all that, you'll just be dying. So let's go, let's start cooking. Guys, so we're gonna start with the cooking a part of it. Susan is going to be cooking it. I am just going to be watching and um, direct it. So we start by seasoning the pot, by heating it up and um, we're going to be using some um, vegetable oil and some uh, sesame seed oil to start and then we'll be uh, browning the garlic and that's the vegetables and stuff like that. Now we're going to start. I'm just going to put the, add some of the vegetable because that's the hardest part to make sure you don't put too much. I like to just heat up the pot first Add the oil, now you have to wait till the oil to get hot. Yeah. Uh, and then we have our garlic and stuff here. Right. You're gonna add all of this, the scotch butter, pepper and um, garlic, fresh garlic. We're gonna add in there, a little bit of sesame seed oil. Right? Alright. Half and half. Okay. Okay? Actually a little bit less than half because sesame seed oil is just for flavor. You don't wanna kill it with, with um, sesame seed oil. It's ready. Yeah, I think that's ready. Okay. What we're gonna do here is add. Um, I'll add it for you, and you just stir it. All so right. that is uh, baby bok choy, red pepper, yellow pepper, orange pepper, green pepper, cabbage, carrots. Um, maybe just one of these should be sufficient. Oh yeah, yeah. Okay. So as this is cooking, here yeah, we're gonna use a little bit of soy sauce just to um, give it a little bit of liquid. We're gonna be adding more into the food later. Add a little bit of liquid so it can um, stir fry yeah. the vegetables. Now is it um, quite have to use a wok? Because I don't have a, a wok at home. So. No, you could use any kind of pan really, but the wok is, it, 
the work is ideal. Like right now, you're using a spoon. You should really be using a flat, um, you know, to get all the vegetables together. But I mean, this is all fine. You're yeah. cooking it okay. all about the same kind of way. So this is going great. So this is half done. So what you want, I'll help you here for a second. Okay. You want to take this out of the bowl. It's not done, huh? Half done. Okay. Alright, the pot is still hot. Oil is still in the pan. Yeah. Take back your, your spoon. Okay, now you're gonna cook the shrimp. Now, no, this one has a stir fry. You wanna, you wanna cook it on both sides. So you wanna flatten them out a little bit. Yeah. You're gonna cough a lot because it's pepper, a lot of pepper in this one. Yeah, so it's coming up. Breathe in, like enjoy the pepper. I love pepper. So now what we're doing is just basically pan frying it. And yeah. um, we're gonna go from there. All right, so let's turn it down. I'm All sure right. we're ready to go. So how long would you leave it um, before turning it over? We're, look we're looking for color. Okay. So the... Um, the color of it, the, the darker or like the you wait for it to turn orange, mm -hmm. right? And what I like to do, how we use the wok right now, is giving it a browning color as well, right? That's why we took we could have added the shrimp with the vegetables, yeah. but adding it straight to the pan like this, we're giving it you're giving it a brown look, right? You're giving it a browning kind of look, and you're getting giving it like a almost like a crispiness to it, right? All right, so you can add back the vegetables. Excellent, excellent, excellent. Um, wheat noodles, okay. made with wheat. So if you're a vegetarian, we also make a vegetarian version of this dish. Um, but we put shrimp in it, so it doesn't really matter. So there you go. So you add that into it. Go ahead, start right. it in. So you want to stir that? Could you use egg noodles? You could, you could definitely use egg noodle. I, I you don't use egg noodle because just in case um, I want to make a vegetarian version of it. All right, we're almost ready here. So I'm just gonna take, give it back to you, right. and I'm gonna start adding in some hoisin sauce, a little bit more soy sauce. Okay, so we're about done. So what we want to do here is, um, I would love to get you guys to sit down again, and um, I will serve it to you. I can't wait. Can't wait. Awesome. Yeah, yeah. Time for my secret touches. Here you go. Wow. That is the dish that you cooked. Did I cook this? You cooked this? Hundred sure. percent. Wow, this looks so good. Yeah. <laughs> you surprise yourself. Okay guys, uh, thank you for concluding the epi this episode of Blind Moodling. Um, we are finished making uh, my training style chow mein. I can't wait for Susan to try it and give me what, what she thinks about it. This looks amazing, I'm excited. Alright. Are you sure I cook this? Uh, 100%. This is amazing. I've never done anything like this You before. surprised yourself, right? Yeah. Mm. Mm. This is amazing. <laughs> You did a fantastic job. I see what you mean about the fresh ingredients. You really get that through this. This is gorgeous. Exactly. Guys, thank you very much for uh, cooking with Lime with Ling today. Um, Susan did an amazing job cooking her dinner here tonight. Um, uh, shrimp ch style chow mein. Again, comment, like, subscribe, and for me, to be honest, put in the comment section below what you liked, what you didn't like, and also what you want me to cook again. I hope to be doing a giveaway soon. And, um, Susan, our links for our Instagram will be below. Thank you very much. Watch the next one.